So I've been doing booktube for a year now and it just occurred to me that I never actually introduced myself, you know, it's... Yeah, it's bad actually. So here goes. So my name is Jean-Claude, I'm a French-Canadian and you know, I mostly review books. There are some other videos that I do from time to time. Uh, but yeah, that's mainly me, what I do. And yeah, so I'm like 70 videos or something. And I've never introduced myself in any of these. But yeah, things have changed a lot since I started this. I've got a bit better at, <laughs> you know, lighting, camera stuff, sounds editing all these things it's still not really good enough but you know i'm getting there and actually i'm still learning i think i'll always learn some new stuff with camera and stuff like this so i'm still in the process of learning all these things but i'm getting uh, better you know with every video that i put out actually and if i you know i watched my first videos that i've published and yeah, they were pretty bad actually. I'm getting better and better at this and I still, as I said, I can still get better. There's still room for improvement, but at least I'm, I got the feeling that I'm getting better and better at this. Uh, not just camera stuff, but also like content. So yeah, I've been doing booktube for a year, as I said. Um, I'm not where I thought I'd be at this point, you know, Back when I started this, I was like, yeah, in a year I'll be monetized. I'll have thousands of subscribers and thousands of views on my videos. I'm not there, actually. I'm kind of far from it. Uh, that being said, though, you know, when I started this channel, I had three subscribers. So mainly, like, my brother and two friends subscribed to the channel. Now I have, like, 50. I'm not, like, salty or anything about the non not being monetized thing it's just that i think i had unrealistic expectations when i started this uh, i thought youtube would be way easier than it really is uh, it's not that it's hard to publish videos or anything that's not what i mean what's hard about youtube is keeping doing this while not having the coverage that you thought you'd get um, it's hard to really explain that feeling if you've never been in that position, but it's kind of, it's hard at times to keep doing it because when you have like five views on a video and three of them are from yourself, so only two other people watched it and you know that it's your girlfriend and like your brother also watched it, it's kind of hard to remind yourself why you're doing this but i think it's important to always remind yourself like why are you doing that it's never about the views or you know statistics or anything but you know because i'm doing this because i have passions about book i like talking about books that's what i want to do but at the same time you know when you don't have the statistics on your side, it's kind of hard sometimes to just get on with it and continue doing that, mainly because you feel like you're talking to nobody in particular. And I am like, right now I'm talking to a camera on a tripod. <laughs> maybe that video, you know, maybe nobody will watch that video and I would just be talking in the void. And that's the hardest thing about YouTube, I think, is not knowing what to expect, how well your video is going to perform or how poorly it's going to perform. It's all about the small victories, you know, just maybe, you know, one video performed better than any other video that I ever put out. Like there's this one video that I have 400 views on. That's the video that I have the more views ever and I'm just so grateful for this and or in a month I had like 10 new subscribers because of that video also these victories matters and 
even if I'm nowhere near where I want it to be, these victories are still mine. It's still because of I did something that I'm proud of and people connected with it in a small portion or something like this. So I'm really glad I did that. You know, I scripted this video, but I've not said anything that's written in this script actually. And if, you know, it might not really show, but the last five videos were all scripted. So I'm trying to be better at content. So I'm scripting everything that I'm saying. So that being said, I've not said a single word out of this script. Actually, let me just get rid of this. So as to what's next, you know, so I'm in spooky season. So right now I'm reading at least a book every week. I'm going to keep that pace until the end of November and starting December, I'm going to be posting uh, less regularly. So um, video every two weeks, uh, mainly because I want to make better content and the way to make better content is to better prepare myself uh, better preparation better planning on all these different videos uh, because right now what i wanted to do last year was mainly just putting stuff out there experimenting getting better at cameras sound lighting all these different things i'm still not there yet you know where i want to be you know i'm not quite comfortable with all these different things uh, but I want to focus more on the content that I'm going to give you guys. Uh, so I'm going to just plan a bit better just because, you know, I'm working full time. I have a family. I have all these different things going on at the same time and I want to make better content. So for this, I want to just slow things down a bit. I'm still going to read a book a week or something like this. It's just that I'm going to make less videos uh, so that's what's going to be expected you know in the next year and moving forward i'll see if i'm going i'm comfortable with that pacing uh, it might change though but we'll see um, so regarding the books that i'm going to read after the spooky season i'm going to post another video at the end of november start of december something like this where i'll be talking about uh, what's to expect next year <laughs> that's it for this video uh, if there's just one thing that i want to say you know before the end is just thank you for each and every one of you who took the time to just watch like subscribe and comment it really means a lot to me you don't know how much it means actually i'm very glad for each and every one of you who took that time uh, I don't know how well this video is going to perform once again, uh, but just thank you if you stayed to the end of this video. Um, let's continue for at least another year, shall we? And just see where that takes us. Thank you.